Centering is a popular issue in CSS and gets a lot of attention just because it's central to page layouts. You'll find plenty of questions and queries on how to center a div horizontally on a page, how to center it horizontally and vertically within another div, and what the methods are for centering divs that hold texts, images, videos, and other rich formats. So let's see how to do this. First, we'll create a new document and give it a class called centered div. And we'll add the style. So let's give it the name center div and the background color will be black x000 position will be absolute width will give it 300 pixels and the height will give it 300 pixels as well so it's a perfect square top 50% and left 50% as well. When we take a look at this web page, we see there's the div, but the top left is centered. So to adjust for that, typically we would adjust the margins. So you'd have margin left at negative 150 pixels and margin top at negative 150 pixels as well, or half the width and half the height, which would then put the box square in the middle of the page. But what happens if you change the width and height to say 500 pixels and 150 pixels? The box is no longer in the center. So to compensate for this, we have to go back to our editor and once again half the widths and the heights that are specified. So in this case 250 pixels for the left and 75 pixels for the top. And now the box is back in the center. We can keep doing this manually or we can let the browser do this automatically using the transform property with the value of translate. Simply put in negative 50% for the top and negative 50% for the left. Write it like you would any CSS property. Save it and check this out. You can change the width to 300, change the height to 450 pixels. The box remains in the middle. We can do this for any dimensions. With 100 pixels, height 650 pixels, the box remains in the center. And this works across any value. Because the transform and translate property value pair ensures that your div always remains negative 50, negative 50 from the top and left. In other words, it's always compensating for the additions of the width and height. Just to be safe, we always add the browser fallbacks, so WebKit for Chrome, Moz for Mozilla Firefox, O for Opera, and MS for Internet Explorer, or Internet Edge. With these fallbacks, you'll always have your div in the center. So whether you're embedding a YouTube video or a sign-up form, you'll see it always remains in the center, vertically and horizontally aligned. And your spaces will always be automatically computed by the browser. So that's the magic of the transform translate property value pair. Give it a shot so that your divs always remain centered perfectly, vertically and horizontally.